Hey, Mr. Parker here to do an update. I'll start with the Blu-rays first. Uh, here we go. It's a pretty big Blu-ray. Uh, Legend. I uh, don't remember this movie at all. I think I seen it. I'm not too sure. Must have been when I was a kid. It's got Tim Curry as like a devil-like character, so that sounds interesting. Couldn't pass it up for a cheap price. No Country for Old Men, a Coen Brother movie. Really amazing directors. I love the villain. He is a human monster that is terrifying and uh, a really great character and it's actually really scary for a human. How much you lost on a coin toss. I love that part. That's just awesome stuff. Uh, Woody Harrelson's in it. Coen Brothers are amazing. What more can I say about them? New Duns, Big Guns, with a title like that. How could I pass up? I haven't watched it yet. Pretty a while before I watched that bad boy. Uh, the Dead, which I heard great things. South African uh, zombie movie. This one I've been wanting to watch forever, and I still haven't got a chance to. Uh, the Deadly Spawn. A lot of people have been complaining about this release. I thought it was fine. I thought that the Synapse release uh, was a little grainier, maybe a little sharper on the picture quality. This is a little brighter, a little duller, but uh, you can see more because it's, uh, it's a brighter movie. I mean, it's a dark film as it is, so it's kind of a toss-up. It's in full screen. It has uh, a little more uh, special features and stuff like that. So that's uh, The Deadly Spawn. Great movie, by the way. Really recommended. Uh, the Human Set of P2, uh, unrated director's cut. Really love this movie. I was really surprised how much I liked it. I thought the first one was okay, a little tame. Didn't expect more violence and graphic nature because it had such a big height. But this one uh, really delivered on the goods, and I could s highly recommend this movie because I uh, loved it and was surprised I loved it that much. And here we go. Uh, I got a lot of these from Family Video. I'm going to show some of the IFC stuff, the independent stuff I got. Some of them I didn't get from Family Video. And then I'll hop into the stuff I think's a little bit better in this update. Then I'll hop into the stuff that I just didn't pay much for and I don't really care that much. It was a couple dollars there. The Girl by the Lake, uh, haven't seen. Looks like a good mystery type deal. Uh, five Minutes of Heaven. You know, uh, Liam Nielsen's in it. It looks good. That's an IFC. I mean, a couple dollars for a lot of these. You just can't pass them up. Uh, Wrecked, Adrian Brody. This sounds interesting. Again, $3. And then uh, Kidnapped, which I heard a lot of uh, pretty decent things about. Uh, well, it got a lot of hype, and uh, I really thought I'd uh, give it a shot. I thought that looked cool. Student Services, yeah. She's like a, a student, obviously, and uh, she's kind of like a prostitute. Haven't watched it yet. Inspector Bellamy. I uh, have not watched this one either. I haven't really watched any of these. I mean, I get like 66 movies every month. How can I expect to watch all these with uh, working 40 hours a week and whatnot? But, uh, yeah. Then we have The Housemaid. Cold Sweat, which looks pretty cool. Looks like it has some very, very creepy creatures or people on the back. Stark Sky. And then we have this one. Uh, Heartbeats. Not a horror it's just a weird, bizarre love triangle. Eh, I figured, why not, for the price. Murder in the Heartland, The Search of Video X, 17 robberies, 11 murders, 6 dates, 1 camera. This sounds interesting, like a Bonnie and Clyde type deal, I don't know. Caught my attention enough to grab it. And then we have, uh, here we go, some decent, I think some decent ones in here. Uh, Hell on Earth, really cheesy, goofy movie from Elite. Uh, all by the guy who produced uh, Deadly Spawn. It's uh, equal parts bad, equal parts good. Cheesy good fun, I guess I'd say. Uh, Watcher in the Attic, which is uh, Mondo Macabro. This is a pinky film. I haven't watched this. The case is great. I mean, that looks pretty damn sleazy to me. Mondo Macabro is one of the best companies. Medium Raw, Night of the Wolf. This is about a serial killer. I heard pretty decent things about it, but uh, not too many. Just a couple things about it. Just hadn't heard that much. But uh, the story intrigued me. Tokyo Decadence, that cover art has been following me around for like 10, 15 years. I never, uh, I always wanted to see it. Obviously, I'm like an eight-year-old kid, like, oh, what's this cover? And then, uh, yeah, I eventually got it when I'm 25 now, just because I saw it somewhere. And I was like, man, I knew we'd cross paths. Then we have Attack of the Vegan Zombies. Uh, this looks like a cheesy fun. I think they just re-released this. This was released on Amazon, I think, for one of those, like, burn on demands. But I heard good things, actually, about that movie, which is surprising. Then we have uh, Murder Island, Die Zombie Agar. I think it's two movies here. We have, uh, I think, yeah. We have Murder Island and Die Zombie Agar. have not watched either of these. I actually think that uh, Zombie Agar, uh, that's a pretty big popular movie. But, yeah, they're they're fairly cheap. Uh, $14 for both of them, brand new. Couldn't pass it up. Look cool. Look like something I would uh, enjoy or hate, but no. And then uh, Grave Encounters. I uh, kept hearing some good things about this one. Got it pretty cheap. Uh, 
This one I have to cover up. It's a bootleg from Twisted Anger, but it is The Lady in the Sea of Blood. Thought to be a lost film. Supposed to be pretty crazy. It also comes, I believe, with Vince Ross Necro on there, which is a really great short, sleazy, disturbing short. Here's a couple bootlegs I got. Uh, this guy, I didn't know they were bootlegs, but I ordered them and then it came bootlegs. He threw an extra, though. A little short. Paris by Night of the Living Dead, I mean. So... I really couldn't hate on the guy. He was a fast shipper. And in his description, it did say they were bootlegs. I just didn't pay close enough attention. They shouldn't be on eBay, though. Uh, Back from the Dead, which is in New Zealand, I think. Splatter. Gore film. Doesn't, I heard it's pretty shitty, but... And then, uh, I believe this is The Living and the Undead, or The Undead Living. I don't know. Something weird. It's a Japanese movie. It's supposed to be really crazy. And it's, again, a bootleg. And then we have uh, Voodoo, which I have not seen. Again, I paid, like, $2 for it. And what else do we have in this bundle of goodness? Oh, Voodoo Curse. This looks awesome. This is like a German uh, film. It's limited to 500. I had it imported. It just looks like a German splatter movie. It does have English subtitles. I like the zombie. I don't know if you can see him too well in there. He looks really creepy. The commercial's a pretty cool commercial. I uh, intrigued me enough to get it. The zombies looked really, uh, I guess I want to say Fulci-ish. But uh, then we have uh, Double Exposure with the Katrina thing. The Katrina Theater. Been keeping up on these. Then we have uh, Mark of Cain and Thrill Kill, double feature from Katrina Theater. It's odd about the Katrina Theater double exposure. It doesn't have that list on top, which people are complaining about. This That ruins the cover. And, of course, Whispers, which is another one that came out. Here we go. We have Chop, bloody disgusting, from the dude from uh, Romeo and Juliet and Terra Firmer. Yeah. Then we have uh, Clown, Cl a Clown Camp Massacre. That's a kind of a tongue twister uh the trauma edition i do have the other edition this movie's actually pretty cool pretty silly basically friday the 13th with clowns and comedy exactly and uh mold which is kind of this like a throwback independent movie about this fucking chemical mold that melts people it's kind of like your melt movie i guess it would be in the same vein as like the taint but not as a uh, sleazy or sexual driven as the taint but i think that mold was really really fun and i love the cover art and it's a really cool cool movie i would really recommend mold it was fun 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 stuff uh shocking heavy metal uh this is kelly george sent me this this is really awesome it's cmv laser vision hard box and uh is aka blood tracks which is a really cheesy 80s slash movie about a band going to shoot a music video in the snow and this like crazy group of like Hills Have Eyes esque people attack them, and they, it's like clan versus clan. I really enjoy this shitty movie. It's it's a bad movie, but it's a really fun bad movie. It's Blood Tracks. Really great stuff, and a really cool addition. Thanks much. Then we have uh, Death Warmed Up. This is actually the uncut edition all the way from New Zealand. Had somebody help me out. Uh, this is the only way you can get it uncut. It has interviews and uh, stuff on there, and it also says it's 80 minutes, but I guess it runs at 89 minute time. Have not had a chance to watch it looks cool supposed to be really crazy and gory then we also got the uh jack b nimble which includes a commentary track this is another movie that i hadn't seen on dvd anywhere else except new zealand maybe there's a uk edition i don't know i know jack's packs on dvd there but uh yeah this is supposed to be a pretty good movie as well now it's time for the g default cheesy crap i bought wendy and lucy i bought it, it was like two dollars and i hated that they gave me this shitty cover this case with it which is supposed to have an outfold they haven't seen it's an independent movie and then we have, uh, I mean, all this stuff isn't bad. It just didn't pay much for it, and it wasn't anything I was really out, really out, out for. So, Nightmares in Red, White, and Blue. It's a horror documentary. Mothman. I don't know. I really wanted to buy something, I guess, when I bought Mothman. Uh, the Eves. Let me know if any of these are good. Birdemic. You know, I, I sold out and bought this. Severin, why did you release this? That's the only reason I bought it, too. Dark House, the, one of the Fangorias. Look at that crappy CGI. Why did I... Ugh, disgusted myself. Uh, Pelt. Monster Man. Yeah, <laughs> Monster Man. Finally got around to getting this. Got me a what winning film. Ah, oh, it looks fun. I don't know much about it. Uh, here we go. Uh, Wasteland. Again, don't know much about it. Don't know anything about it. Blind Buys, Bad Lieutenant. I do not like Nicolas Cage's newer films, but uh, Werner Herzog directed this, and I do love the original, so that's enough to at least see it. Looks like Val Kilmer's in it, too. I mean, that's just so weird. Uh, the Lost Future with Sean Bean. He's a cool dude. I liked his other movie, Black Death. It's kind of medieval times. Legacy. I didn't remember getting that one. For some reason, I have two Quarantine 2s. I mean, it is Quarantine 2, so I need two copies of it. Duh. But I don't know, this is a terribly stupid accident. Uh, I'm sure I could part with one of these if anybody really wants one. Let me know. Page 
pay shipping or something. I don't know if you want it that bad. Inheritance, Keith Davidson, this it's an image. What else we got? Darkening Sky. Look at Ryder Strong in there. Why does he look all like Jared Leto or something? I don't know. Uh, Psych Nine, Ghost House Underground. Still need the other one, Stag Knight. Uh, the Devil, which I heard a lot of good things about. So I figured, why not for $3? I don't even think it's a rental exclusive, which is cool. Because I knew that was getting released on a rental. Simon Says, Crispin Glover, Maniac. Why not? Zombie Dyers 2, I figured I don't need the Blu-ray. This is definitely a DVD purchase only. I thought the first one was okay. The Reef, again with the DVD purchase instead of Blu-ray. This one I actually heard pretty decent things about. Uh, the Gothard. Don't know much about. Again, bought it because the gory back. Uh, I'm not going to say this. Sakuyaki Western Durango. Yeah, I said it, and I butchered it. But I heard good things about this movie. It's a Mike movie, but yeah. Quentin Tarantino has a role in it. The Resident from Hammer Horror, which is cool to see the res Hammer coming to, having a comeback. A Slasher's Gone Wild. Director's Cut. Anyways, I like the idea of a whole bunch of slashers killing people. Uh, Death of a Virgin, good title. Good gore on the back, that's pretty much the reason. Uh, the Ghost of Edendale, which is from the same director's last broadcast. I thought that that movie had gotten a lot of recognition. I haven't watched it, so I figured I'd take this one up too. I have both, need to watch them both. And then we have The Canyon for Magnet. And finally, Deadland. I also have a VHS update and uh, probably have one. I don't have any other movies except those, but thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye.